one of the challenges was the, the I mean, the physical distance and the cultural difference distance between our engineering team and our our uh, our New York team and the customers on the ground in, in the U.S. Um, was like a lack of familiarity with with the customer and the product. And so one of the early things I did was establish a feedback loop between our, our customer facing team members in, in New York, which are uh, operations and customer support, who would talk to customers on tickets all day um, and and get that feedback to uh, have feedback loop with our, our Swedish engineering team. This is kind of a, a funny example. And granted, this is about eight years ago now at this point, but um, differences in, in banking situations, like the, the Swedes actually couldn't use our, our, um, our app just because of, of the the uh the rules over there and so relied on us for for insight into um into like any kind of product changes often and even back then we had a bunch of people in their 20s and 30s uh in sweden and they had never used a check before in their lives right a physical check where you have to write it out to somebody and then a piece of paper right they never used that um and and didn't they really exist in sweden anymore and here in the U.S., you know, at least as of eight years ago, most things are digital. You, you know, you can you pay all your bills with your credit card or online or whatever. But I feel like everybody, um, at least of a certain age, you know, ha- has had a checkbook in their in their closet somewhere where there's like one, two, three, four checks a year that you have to write to your landlord or whoever it may be who doesn't take PayPal or Venmo. Um, and they didn't they didn't know that. And so we, when we launched this product, we didn't have a checking feature. And if you want to be, you know, you have a checking account. It's just sort of like a base thing you had to have, at least at the time. And so that's a kind of just like a funny example of something where there's this, this cultural difference um, where, uh, you know, without that feedback loop, they, they wouldn't have thought about that. And so we were uh, constantly then starting to feed them um, feedback about what our customers are saying and what what what, what would it, uh, be helpful to improve in the app and where to prioritize things, right? Obviously, engineering teams are, are overworked and they have limited bandwidth and they need to pr- focus on like what's what's crucial. Sometimes those are bugs or, or whatnot, but when they do have the time, we want to make them focus on like the, the product uh, improvements that would save us time and be more effective and help our customers be um, enjoy the app the most they could. Um, so, so that was a, something that was a learning for me. And then also like another kind of funny story is uh, there's a really big uh, cultural difference between the sw- Swedish uh, work culture and the American work culture. I think in Sweden they sort of have this history of being a very um, non-confrontational country and non-confrontational work culture. And, you know, if you have a disagreement, it's less like, let's hash it out and more like, okay, we'll go our separate ways. And so um, I remember once we are, are uh, a lot of the engineers had never been over to, to visit the U S and we flew them over for a big all, all team meeting. We had about 35 employees and we, and as part of that, we had a focus group with uh, users of our app in New York. And so, um, you have this contrast between the non-confrontational Swedish uh, team members and, you know, very loud opinionated New Yorkers who are not afraid to tell whatever, the, whatever's on their mind. And so we have this focus group and everybody's watching and, and, you know, the, the, the uh, focus group users are neat, loud New Yorkers and they're cussing and they're saying, this is crap and this needs to be fixed and this is BS and, and that sort of thing. And I think this, it was funny to see like the Swedes just completely shocked at, at that, at that clash of culture. Um, so that was, that was pretty funny, but, but ultimately I think is also very helpful in that, like, y- you know, they were, these New Yorkers, these, these app users were like truly telling like what, what affected them. And often it was very important things, you know, it was like my, my savings, I'm trying to save for a down payment on a house. And like, I can't do that because of this feature. And, um, and so they, they came back to that meeting, like really eyes open. So that was kind of a fun experience. Yeah. So I think the, the lesson I learned from this experience, it was you know, somewhat uncomfortable, but like very eye opening and a, very humorous at the same time was just that, um, it really is crucial to get all the areas of the company, you know, all the way from all the way to engineering who often aren't customer facing involved in, in using the product in meeting the customer, uh, in order to have that, that crucial full focus on the customer experience. So that feedback loop between the customer and all the way to engineers is, is crucial for the product.